The new Dark Horse represents the best of seventh generation Mustangs. For now, there could be one or two more powerful versions of the Shelby in the future. But before that, I quickly learned that the Dark Horse was what racing Mustang buyers wanted. Unlike previous Mustang performance models, the Black Horse doesn't delve as deeply into the history of the pony car icon because of its name. Instead, it adds a new performance moniker to the lexicon, though the car could just as easily be called the Mac one as it's essentially an evolution of the 2021 Mustang Mach 1, which gets more power and a lot of suspension upgrades have been made to the S550 generation Mustangs. <music> 2024 Ford Mustang Dark Horse, even 500. The fourth generation Coyote 5.0 liter V8 that made all that racket gets the same upgrades as the version in the Mustang GT. It now uses a dual air intake that feeds a dual throttle body, and port injection joins direct injection. The GT version produces 480 F at 7,150 revolutions per minute and 415 pound-feet of torque at 4,900 revolutions per minute and increases to 486 F at 7,250 revolutions per minute and 418 pound-feet with the optional active exhaust. On Dark Horse, the V8 gets standard active exhaust and uses the connecting rod from the 760 F Mustang Shelby GT500. This stronger stem allowed Ford engineers to program the ECU to unlock an additional 14. I couldn't feel the slightest difference at 14M, but even 500M is a fun number to be proud of. As in GT, it's fast and loud, and on this track, it produces its best NASCAR impression, turning hilarious growls into wails for hitting gearheads, attracting the attention of the police, and annoying the neighbors. The revs are fast for a V8, but not so fast that I can't keep up with the shifting. Ford isn't offering a 0 to 60 amp time, but it's likely 4.0 seconds or less. I access power through a Tremec 6 speed manual transmission that replaces the GT model Gitrag unit. Both have rev matching downshifts, positive shift points with short throws and a slightly weighted clutch pedal with predictable take-up points. However, the Tremec is more powerful, making room for additional trance coolers, and thus better for the track that Dark Horse buyers are more likely to do. The transmission slots seamlessly from gear to gear on this track, as I shuffle it from first to fifth gear. It's a great manual, and would be my go-to for any engagement that adds to the driving experience. Another option is a 10-speed automatic transmission, which has also been updated for 2024 to hold the gears longer during performance drives. This allows me to focus more on corners, and I don't feel like I have to use the paddle shifters to downshift on the way out, which is nice because the pedals need to be bigger for easier access. The 2024 Ford Mustang Dark Horse. Hot performance. The Black Horse does more than just straight line performance on this highway, thanks to the car's basic chassis and a number of performance improvements. All of the new generation S650 Mustangs feature minor chassis changes to further refine the already sporty S550's driving dynamics. Like the other Mustangs, the Black Horse features a stiffer K-brace fascia, a quicker 15.5 to 1 steering ratio versus 16.0 to 1, a stiffer steering column for direct connection to the road, and a 50% rear end, which is not too stiff. Control arm bushings improve handling.
The 2024 Ford Mustang Dark Horse Daily Show Pony Dark Horse's many performance creations give it a strong character, but that doesn't prevent it from being used as a daily driver. Off-road riding in a car equipped with the handling package shows that even Trofeo RS motor grader tires won't stop even a dark horse for everyday commuting. Ford calls this generation the 3.5 mag ride, which has been tuned to work with suspension tuning and provide a different experience depending on the mode, normal, sport, and track. Without trying too hard to stay in tune with a track, a contact car on a rough track like the Charlotte. The damping system reads the road surface 1,000 times per second and adjusts the ride with three speed settings.